Breaking a chain is a simple process, but there are several different ways to do it depending on whether or not you have a very specific link in your chain. Here are the three different most common types of chain and the different ways to break them. So if our chain looks like this with no quick links and no split links in it, then we will need a specialist tool in order to break it. That specialist tool is a chain tool and it is basically this pin here that will push rivets out of the center of our chain links. So in order to use it, we'll insert our chain into the chain tool. Any link will do. Make sure it's seated nice and firmly. And then we can start twisting and applying this pin. We want to make sure that the pin is applied to the center of the rivet and that the back of the chain is supported so we are not bending the links or anything. With this, with a firm grip, we can start twisting and it might take a bit of force to get it started. You'll see that the pin is pushing the rivet through the back of the chain. We're not going to push it all the way clear, we're just going to push it most of the way through so that it clears the central part of the link and I'll show you what I mean in just a second. That's probably about far enough. You will feel a bit of resistance as it gets towards the end of the chain. Backing off the pin, we can take the chain tool out and our chain should, with a bit of wiggling, come apart. This is the centre bit of our chain I was talking about, and we just have to push the rivet clear enough of that so it's still stuck in this plate. To reattach, we simply push the pin back through using the chain tool in a reverse manner. It's also worth being aware that if you do break your chain in this way, with some multi-speed chains, as in 10-speed chains and 11-speed chains, you will need to buy a new pin every time in order to reattach the chain as they work with much tighter tolerances. So if you have a quick link which looks like this, you'll notice a quick link because it has these holes next to the pins on opposing sides. These are very very easy to open. All we have to do is compress like this the link and it will pop open. Now this is possible by hand but they can be quite stiff, so I suggest trying to get your hands on some of these. These are special quick link pliers. As you can see, they are very thin and they are rounded off and they're designed to fit inside the chain and compress directly our quick link here. So what I'm going to do is insert these into the chain, either side of the quick link like that, and then it's simply a case of pressing together. And you'll see that our pins have slid to occupy these previous holes. By removing the pliers, our chain has literally slid apart. And then you have either side of the quick link which you can remove from the chain. Let's take a look at a split link like this, which consists of our backing plate here our other plate and then this sort of locking face plate on the front. Really easy to take this apart. The only tool you will need is a set of needle nose pliers like this. And what we need to do is place one of the jaws on the pin like so. And then the other jaw rests on this locking face plate. We just need to give a bit of squeeze here to slide. What we're doing we're sliding this face plate off this way. And as you can see, it's released it. So we just need to give it a bit more. And then we can slide it off and remove it from the link. We can place that to the side now, and now all we need is our hands. As we no longer have this locking plate, we can simply use our fingers to slide off this face plate. Might need a bit of a wiggle. We can place that to the side. And then, as you can see, our chain simply slides off this backing link with the pins installed. That's how to break your chain with a split link.